What's up guys, it's Fab here. Today I'm going to be doing another Sony Vegas tutorial. This one's on how to motion track in Sony Vegas. Before we get started, I'm just going to say you do need the pro version of Vegas to do this effect. So you can use the 3D source alpha that doesn't come with uh, Movie Studio or any other versions. You need pro, the pro version of Vegas. Okay, right, so starting off with this, it's pretty easy. I'm going to be showing you a clip today with this cinematic just a normal side moving cinematic so it's pretty easy to do and but it looks really good you can do it with complex one, com, more complex ones but it does take more time okay right so jumping into this first thing you want to do is create a new video track and you're gonna want some text I've already made myself some pre-made it with a nice chunky font this font is called Beavis if you want to get it. It's a really nice font. Okay, right, so to start off with, I'm just going to size this up. You just want to make sure that you untick maintain aspect ratio so that nothing goes wrong with the text <coughs> or anything like that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just size it to what you want it to be. So going to leave it about that size. Alright, so once you've got all that, this is where the tracking starts coming in. So you want to go to the timeline and go to your compositing mode, which is here by the uh, on the left to your, of your track. And it's on source alpha, you want to just change it up to the top at 3D source alpha, which will make it rotate and things. Once you've done that, to the left of that is a little icon saying track motion you want to click that so this is where we're going to be doing the tracking in it looks kind of weird at the moment but it's easy to use I'll explain now so this little icon you move around and this just controls the movement there's X and Y axis and if you drag that up it tilts it if you drag that across it flips it that's all you need to know really so what you'd basically want to do is here's the start so for our track we're gonna want it to start in the middle so you just want to get it in the middle and you can see there that doesn't look right because if you look at the angle it's kind of tilted so you just want to play around with the tilts like this just move it up and down to to get the right angle so once you've got the right angle just move the timeline along at all about the middle, so about here. And then you just want to resize this, put it back to the middle, and as you see there, that looks a bit off, so just adjust it again. Like so. So yeah, that's about right, and then resize it back up to the middle. Now we're going to check this to see if it's worked so far. Okay, so so far that is alright. We're just going to tilt this back a little bit to about there. Okay, so now drag your slider along again to the end of the your clip. is here. Now do the final sizing up, put it into the middle, tilt it whatever you want. You will get the hang of using this after a while, which takes a bit of practice in to get it right. And once you think it looks good, Alright, so let's check this now. Okay, so that is pretty good, apart from on this last one. On this last one, it needs to be moved up to the middle. 
Yeah, it needs to be moved up to the middle. So now if you just check this, should be pretty perfect. So yeah, that is not 100% perfect, but as you can see, it does stay really well. And you can add, <coughs> sorry, can add different effects to this, add glow, make it swing in from the top or whatever. But yeah, that, that there is a way of doing really simple motion tracks, as you saw there. Once you put color correction on, it does make it look 10 times better. You can add animations or whatever you want. But yeah, that is just a simple way of doing it. If you're going to do more complex ones, obviously it does take a little bit more time, but you can do it if you take your time. Okay, so that is the end of this tutorial. It's a pretty simple tutorial. Thank you for watching the video, and as always, leave a like if you enjoyed it or if it helped you. Check out some of my other tutorials. Alright, cheers for watching. See you later.